All right, what's up everybody? Deus Ex Dragon here, back for another episode of Let's Play Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. Yeah, I think I should start saying that. I don't know, maybe. But anyway, in the last one, we finally got out of the, we finally got out of the capital, we got out of the castle, and we made our way to Dayton Hold here. And now we're gonna hopefully try to keep moving and figure things out and look for Flynn. That's a good thing, cause <laughs> I'm not bad off, but I could use a bit of a touch up. But anyways, you can't go straight out yet, but you want to come down here, I think. I mean, yeah, running will make you good. Ah, here it is. Just want to grab that real quick. And now, we don't have much to do here. There is something we could do here, but I don't think we can do it right now. Oh, there it is. and things are already getting crazy. That's it. I'm cursed. I know it. Yeah, I'm starting to think you are too. <gasps> the gate! <laughs> what the hell? Cut it out! Ah, good boy. I repeat his best dog. Estelle, you wait over. Uh, hey! Uh, I guess she ain't waiting. Help the girl. Whatever you say. P please, I can't get up. Ow! The monsters! The monsters! Everything's gonna be okay. Baby. 
How can I ever thank you? Oh, it's nothing, really. How about keeping a better eye on your kid? I'm not sure what I would have done if you hadn't cured me. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I'm just thankful that everyone's safe. Whoa. All worn out, huh? It really is dangerous beyond the barriers with so many ferocious monsters around. This place could definitely use a barrier against a pack that big. Couldn't they install a barrier blastia here? No. Barriers are a precious resource. You're right. And with the current technology, we can't make any more. If only we could recover the secrets of the ancient Garayo civilization. They created the Blastia. Even if that were to happen, I can't see the Empire using the knowledge for the common good. You two there! I'd like to have a word with you. So why don't you let us through? I'll beat those monsters to a pulp with these fists of mine! How many times do I have to say it? These monsters are tougher than you think! Alrighty then. We got some big shots. You dare to doubt the power of the monster hunters? Stop! Stay out of this! You knights cheated us out of a job back there, and now we're gonna work off some steam! Hey, hold it! It's always the same with these guild idiots. Huh. <laughs> Great, we'll never get through as long as this keeps up. Flynn is headed to Halor, and we're so close. Well, getting caught by the knights wouldn't be too fun. Let's find another way through. Quite a scene. Indeed it is. We made quite a scene, didn't we? I was so worried once those knights noticed us. I told you we couldn't stand out. You were the one who just jumped. I can't just look away when monsters are attacking someone right in front of me, right? <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry. That sounded just like the way Flynn described you, that's all. He often said that you could never turn a blind eye when someone near you was suffering. Well, next time you see him, you tell him that I said he's the same way. <laughs> I'll do that. Oh, goody. So yeah, we got these people here, apparently part of a guild. Then we got the Empire Knights. And now we got this mess out there. Nothing is going right. You really are cursed, Yuri. You look sus. You there. How about coming to work for me? You'll be paid, of course. All right. Depends what I'd be doing. And you're it is not give a damn. Watch your manners <laughs> around the president. Well, what do you say? So it's not bad manners to try and buy someone without even introducing yourself? Fair point. Very fair point. Watch your mouth. You're just as charming as I expected. I'm Kaufman of the Merchants Guild Fortunes Market. We handle everything from trade to distribution. Guilds, huh? You see, I'm in quite a tight spot, and it's all thanks to these tremors. 
I'd rather not know, but was that the work of a monster? Yes, the Lord of the Plains. Lord of the Plains? He's the leader of that pack of monsters. If I had to imagine, I'd want to say the big guy with the fancy looking horns. The leader? Man, there's some amazing things out there. Do you know if there's another way we can cross the plains? We're in a hurry. Huh. I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the Lord of the Plains to leave. Huh. I guess there's no point getting worked up over it. Yeah, but that's not an option. But I can't afford to just sit and wait. I'm gonna get a second opinion. Nah. <laughs> You're with a guild that does product distribution, but you don't know any other routes? I could hire you and just charge through once the leader moves on, but uh, you don't seem interested. If it's bodyguards you want, why not hire the knights? Are you forgetting that we guild members have thrown away our rights as Imperial citizens? Once you leave the Empire behind, you can't expect them to help you a whole lot. So naturally, the Imperial Knights would never deign to escort the likes of us. Wow, you really stick to your principles. I mean, you kinda got to. Without that level of determination, one could never hope to run a guild. Well, maybe you could use your determination to do something about that Lord of the Plains. Go to the Quoi Woods that lie to the west of here. If you pass through the forest, you'll come out on the far side of the plains. Okay, see, there's a catch, especially if you're not using it. But the fact that you guys aren't going that way must mean we have some surprise to look forward to. See? I like a boy with quick wits, but I like one that doesn't waste a potential investment even better. Thanks. I owe you one. Maybe I'll talk to you about that job if we meet again. So how's that second opinion coming along? Estelle. I... I'm not waiting around for the monsters to leave or anything. I'm just resting a little. <laughs> right. Oh, I see. Well then, I guess I'll just have to take the other way around by myself. What? H how did you... Hey, wait for me! Well, that changed quick. And we have another skit. Guilds. That woman who gave us directions, she said she was in a guild, right? That was Miss Kaufman of Fortune's Market. Man, giving up their rights as Imperial citizens and just living free. Yuri, are you interested in the guilds? Interested? Nah, I just never had much contact with them. Back in the capital, there weren't any gritty guild types who'd refuse the Knights' protection. We may meet lots of people in guilds before we're done with our trip. I hope they're a little less aggressive than that woman was. Eh, more or less. But yes, that was basically what guilds are. You just kind of give up your rights and pierces, and you don't cause trouble for the Empire, but you're not really buddy-buddy with them either. Now... If I remember correctly, we literally have to walk back out this way. But before that... Alright, now let's go. Wow. 
Watch and learn. You look very good swinging a sword, Yuri. You're not bad yourself, Estelle. Really? My swordmaster used to scold me terribly. Well, I have to admit I'd be surprised if you look too natural. I really don't like fighting. I don't like hurting people. How ladylike of you. But if I don't fight, I'll end up hurt myself, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I wish I could enjoy fighting like you do, Yuri. You think I enjoy this? Don't you? I mean, the way your eyes shine, that only happens when you're fighting. Oh, oh really? Wow, you're pretty observant. Yes, I like watching people. I see. Ah! Alright, well, unfortunately we do have a new monster type here. Two of them, so I'm gonna have to do that. That's for my own rule. Villiful, I can never say that right. Bud. Level 7, max HP 880, weak to fire, and it's a plan. God dang, I keep doing that! Anyway, B, level 7, 780, and we can fire the Holy power, come to me! First Holy power, come to me! It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Uh, it is a Ah, dang, that great to hit. Yeah, before we keep moving, sadly, repeat did take a little bit of a hit, so I'll just patch him up a little bit. Alright, and we want to head up this way. Get away from me. And it's all the way down here. Funny thing, actually. I literally had no idea where to go when I first started this way back when. Damn it. Hey, I learned something. Alright, before I was rudely interrupted, yes, I had no idea this was over here until I. What? Oh, man. Alright, alright. Oh, for the love of. Ah. Tuliper, level 7, 700, weak to fire. You guys are really, really nice. Power, come to me. The only thing they have are sports, and that's... Holy power, power, come to me! First aid! It'll be a hundred years before yeah, you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Anyways, we are now in the Koi Woods. A forest in a place like this can only mean the Koi Woods? Bingo. You're just full of information, aren't you? I told you, she's a walking encyclopedia. I read in a book once that a curse will fall upon anyone who enters the woods. Ah, so that must be the surprise. Not going in? It's fine by me, but what about Flynn? Ah, come on, you can't be a wuss now. I know. Okay, let's go. The curse as Estelle knows it. Will this forest really get us to the other side of the hold? If it doesn't, we'll just come back. But what if I get turned into a frog or a snake by the forest's curse? If that happens, I'll take care of you. You'll... take care of me? Of course I would. Don't worry. I had pet frogs and snakes when I was a kid. If you got turned into a frog or a snake, Yuri, I wouldn't have any idea what to feed you. Uh, flies and mice? That seems to be the generic diet. 
But anyways, we're just gonna try to slip through all these guys. I don't feel like fighting them right now. That's an apple joke. We need to go up. No. Well, I'm about to get hit. There we go. Alright, well that was worth it. I did get a level up. Uh, this was always a issue of mine. I never knew how to navigate this place well. At least not in the beginning. Uh... Hmm. No, I can't go that way. Dang it! Guess we can do this. Up, I got two left, so might as well. There's an evolved version of the plant. Come on, boy. Nice. Alright, and last one. Axe Beak. Well, yeah, fits a name. But you're stronger. Done. We're done. Did you hear something? No, what? Cold all of a sudden. Oh no, is this the curse? What sort of curse is it supposed to be anyway? The voices of corpses buried beneath the trees creep up and lure us to our doom. Huh. Oh, brother. I don't know. Well. What's that? What's it doing in a place like this? Let's take a break. I I'm all right. I guess the forest used to be inhabited? Question mark? Huh? What's this? <gasps> now why'd you go touch stuff? The cell! Damn, that's bitter. Net. And you, young lady. This is why you don't go touching random stuff. You alright? Oh, my head feels a little... I'll be fine. What happened to me? You just fell over all of a sudden. Don't you remember? Perhaps it was the air that made me dizzy. Air. That's sort of like the fuel that powers the Blastia, right? I heard that even though we can't see it, it's scattered through the atmosphere. Yes, that's air. I read once that dense air can have negative effects on people. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's what started the rumor of the curse. Hey, you only just woke up. You should rest a bit more. But I can't! If we don't catch up with Flynn soon... What if you collapse again, and this time you're out for the whole night? You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, okay. Ugh. 
<laughs> huh. I suppose we'll never get full trying to eat these. It's delicious. Yeah, go ahead and lie to yourself. Hold on a sec. I can make something simple. You can cook, Yuri? I'm not exactly a royal chef. I just have a few recipes I learned growing up. Aren't you worried at all that Flynn is in danger? Nah. Huh? Does it look that way? Well, yes. Honestly, I'm not worried about him. He's always managed to take care of himself. Actually, it's the guys who are after him I feel sorry for. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, I've never been able to beat Flynn at anything. Swords, racing, whatever. After he'd won, he'd always have the nerve to say, You all right, Yuri? Must be nice. I've never had anyone like that in my life. You can count yourself lucky. Well, dinner's ready. Oh, she likes it. Thank you for the meal. That uh, wasn't anything special. I thought it was very tasty. I can't imagine being able to cook anything myself. It's just like using a sword or magic. You've got to learn it by doing it. You just need to practice with a few recipes. You'll be cooking before you know it. Practice with recipes? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Watch. Tutorial time, kids! Cooking clears your mind, and it's great for regaining lost energy. Cooking has a lot of other effects as well. This is pretty much everything I know how to cook right now. So, in order to make a sandwich, you'll need bread and an egg. Which we just happen to have right here. After choosing the ingredients, it's time to cook. And, there you are. A delicious meal. You're so good at that. I'm not sure I'd be able to get that good at cooking. Well, it comes more naturally to some people than others. Just because you have a recipe doesn't mean it'll always turn out like you think. Really? So you can mess it up? Well, you usually taste your food while cooking. But some people don't. Tasting? You know, like when cooks taste the food they make? Well, you're a sheltered little princess who's lived her life in a castle. It's only normal. Sheltered little princess? I suppose so. What is it, Repeat? Well, shall we be going? Learned how to make a sandwich. Yep, basically the same. Keep experimenting with it and you'll get it. And here's a new one. Is this the curse? We can't seem to find our way through this forest at all. Oh! Could this be the curse? What should we do, Yuri? There really was a curse after all. Don't be stupid. Or, do you not have a good sense of direction? No, of course I do. I think. Then maybe it's my fault. What should we do? They say no medicine can cure a fool, but I wish something could cure a bad sense of direction. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we'll figure it out. But, real quick.
But yes, do not forget about cooking. For the love of God, don't do what I did. Don't forget about cooking. Try to do it. Or just remember it. Because it will save your ass later in this game. I mean it. Oh, whoops. Okay, hang on. Not there. Here it is. Increase my physical defense. I got something earlier. There it is. And that was it for that. And also, while you're fighting, there are times where you can get new titles. I got this one, the beginning combo user. Sometimes they don't do anything, sometimes they do. You just kind of have to see what you get. Like, if I remember correctly, there are some that can give you a stat boost. There are some that will change your appearance. Just do what you gotta do. But, I like basic swordsman. I like that for her. I like that for him. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah! Alright, well, at least we got a level up for us still, and we have a new skit. Repeat, when I passed out, you laid down and made the nicest pillow for me. Thank you very much. What are you doing? I'm, um, thanking Repeat. Repeat? He's not here. Huh? What? Maybe he doesn't like me. Nah, he acts like that with just about everybody. Well then, I'll just have to keep trying until he accepts me. <laughs> she is determined to make the dog like her. At any rate, I'm gonna go over here. Thank you very much. I see that. The house is all you. It's full of baddies, aren't you? Another axe beak. Oh. What you got, boy? Pre prepare to die, Egg Bear! I wonder why. <laughs> This is some kind of fairy tale. Oh, brother. This should be interesting. I'm Carol Capel. I'm a member of the Hunting Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle. And you've met Repeat already. Also, you're a hunter? I find that hard to believe. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where <laughs> you I going? always loved seeing that. <laughs> you guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I'll... Uh, actually, we're leaving the woods. Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halur. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods? Did you guys run into any egg bears? Egg hey, what? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? Nope. I don't think we've seen any. Man, 
wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. All right. I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear! The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort! Kid, I don't know who you are, but I feel like you and I... I don't know. I, I just feel like something ain't right with you. See that? I've even got my own Blastia! Uh, check it out. So do we. What? You guys both have one too? Uh, oh yeah? Whoa, how do you like this? A book. It has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. What kind of two-bit book is this? That's because I'm going to fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Hey, wait! Who said you could just ride in there? It might hurt your star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. <laughs> oh, that? I had to give myself some kind of handicap or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. Hey, that's actually not too bad. Uh, at least you can swing it now. Yo, do you guys even know where you're going? Halor's to the north once you get out of the woods. Come on, guys! Wait for me! Did I say you could tag along? I did not agree to this. But, okay, fine. And we have a new skit. Having friends to talk to really makes traveling a lot more fun. When I'm by myself, I get a little scared. Uh, I mean, bored. Yeah, uh-huh. Hey, Carol, there's a monster behind you. What? Oh, my mistake. I must be seeing things. D don't do that! Our trip just got more lively. <laughs> oh, goodness. But, before we leave, I'm gonna pick that up. And we're gonna head out this way. But yeah, now we got the runt joining us. And oh, what's this? Hello. That was an interesting scene. But we want to head over to what looks like a giant tree. And now we are in the City of Blossoms, Halor. However, things ain't looking too bright. Halor, the City of Blossoms. Yeah, that's right. Don't they have a barrier here? Yes, there should be. You guys haven't been to Halor before, right? It's supposed to be a barrier, yeah, I ain't seeing nothing. So then you haven't heard about the tree barrier? Tree barrier? Some Blastia fuse to plant life, gain organic qualities, and evolve. The tree barrier of Halor is one prime example of this. I read that in a book. Uh, of course you did. Well, thank you, Professor. So what's happened to this famous barrier? Doesn't look like it's doing much right now. Every year, just before the blossoms are in full bloom, the barrier weakens for a while. It's just that time of year right now, and the monsters took the opportunity to attack. Is that when the barrier went down? Yeah, the monsters were taken care of, but the tree is slowly starting to decay. Hey! 
What is it? Sorry, I gotta run. Bye. And is that just kid like that still still? So I guess you'll be looking for Flynn now, huh, Stell? Doesn't she know we need to keep a low profile? And what happened to looking for Flynn? Well, thanks team. Y'all are awesome. But with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and call things here. I think it was a pretty good chunk today. We found out about Koi Woods, we made our way through, and we got to Halor finally. So hopefully we find Flynn and can figure out what the hell's going on. But until then, this X out. Later.